original genesis for this project was uh, we came across a newspaper article in 2003 about carbon emissions from farms. And we said instead of taxing that carbon or putting it underground, why not try to use it as a carbon resource to make materials? So that was the start of the, of the project. And again, that was back in 2003. The whole project took about 10 years to go from you know, the original founding idea to where we are today. It was a long series of inventions from where we started to where we are now. Um, and it really keyed in on one specific breakthrough. We use a biocatalyst to convert this carbon over into plastic. And the science to do that had actually existed for a number of decades. What had never been done was a way to do that cost effectively. So our big breakthrough was finding a way to make that biocatalyst operate at a very, very high yield. And today we're operating at about an order of magnitude higher yield than the next best. And the way our process works is we take carbon that's being generated at different places, such as farms, landfills, wastewater treatment plants, methane-based carbon. We take that carbon, we capture it, we mix it with air, and we run it into our reactor. When it gets inside of our reactor, we first convert it into a liquid, and then as it's going through our reactor, it contacts a biocatalyst. And what this biocatalyst does is it essentially pulls carbon out of this passing airstream and then rearranges it into a long chain of polymers, uh, which is a plastic. And then we pull that plastic out, melt it down, and turn it into pellets. At this point, we're making a whole range of things. In fact, the, uh, the chair that I'm sitting on here is made out of air carbon. Um, we're also now making cell phone cases. Um, this is what it looks like when it comes out as, as pellets. Uh, but we're now getting into automotive, food storage containers, films, a whole range of things. And the, the idea is these products are actually able to match on the performance of oil-based plastics, but in fact outcompete on price. And so what we have is a market-driven carbon capture process, uh, which is really exciting for us. Each one of our grades of plastic have a different carbon footprint, uh, but we recently had a third-party independent analysis done uh, that verified that each one of our grades of plastic actually sequester more carbon in the production process than they emit. So every single grade that we make is a carbon sink. So this product here, and this product here, this is all actually pulling carbon on a net basis, including the energy, out of the air.